Hey everyone, good morning. Uh, Ralph Nippy Nip Nip here. Uh, former known as Yuzuru Tanashi. My name is Ralph. Um, I just got done reading some more chapters of the Bible. I didn't get to sleep very well, and um, well, I didn't really sleep because uh, it was already like one or two in the morning, and I couldn't get to sleep. And I was just thinking, like, okay, well, Satan was trying to mess with my mind and all that. I was like, nope, he ain't going to work on me. So I was, you know, thinking, okay, um, I'm going to read some more and uh, study more, meditate more. So I was reading uh, two more chapters that I would normally do from the morning out of three. And I was like, okay, I'll read the next one as soon as I wake up. I read two of the Psalms, of Psalms 1 and 2, and um, so, and then I was thinking, oh, I'm going to make a video to talk to you guys, to let you guys know that God and Jesus loves you, and um, that he is real, he is alive, very well alive, so is Jesus Christ. Um, now, uh, I just want to let you guys know that um, God's real. And he brought me here. I was blind before. I, I did lose the sight of God at one point. Because of uh, when my dad died. That um, when I was a lot younger. When I was pretty much a kid. My dad said that um, I, he's going to pretty much. Uh, he wants to start reading. And um, he me and my mom got off uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, we started reading and um, uh, the Bible and I started becoming like they started having me like read out of it and my parents pretty much said that I'm like I read like a pastor and I had like a more louder kind of like voice as a kid and I just always was able to read pretty high and um, I want to let you guys know that he's here God and Jesus are here um, they're real just as real as us and um, they brought me back because there's uh, they, they do have actual real power and um, I was blind. I'm gonna be honest. I was on methamphetamine. I'm a gamer. I really am, and I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. And I am a child of God. I am proud to admit it. I am not ashamed. And um, I was on methamphetamine for at least a couple of years, and I kept going in between. Um, but um, God did pull me out of it without having to go through. Uh, uh, like any kind of help the only help I really needed was God and it was kind of ironic that some people were really in shock um, I did lose SSI as well which is what I'm on and um, pretty much uh, I was just crying and I, I was going to pretty much become homeless my mom is um, has a broken hip and everything. I was crying, 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 and um, I started talking to God, and Jesus, and um, sure enough, when I was going to uh, re uh, do the uh, thing where I show that I am disabled mentally and uh, the test and um, through God and Jesus, uh, as I said, it will take at least up to three months. And um, it didn't even take that. It was uh, during uh, September, I do believe, September. And uh, this all happened at September. And um, so uh, as I went and mailed me saying, after like one to two days after that um, 
I done the whole test and everything and talked um, to uh, doctors and everything to uh, re-show that I am still disabled. And uh, two days later, I got it in the mail saying that I am actually still disabled and that my money will still be there. And I was in the shower and um, I was crying, thanking God. And um, two presents came onto me, one on my left shoulder and one on my right. And um, I felt hands. On the left side was Jesus Christ. And on the right, was my dad and um, it was really really <laughs> it was um, really amazing to feel my dad again after so many years and I was around my I was 25 and um, this was just recent and uh, I haven't felt felt no presence to my dad in a long time. I haven't felt Jesus in a long time. Not since uh, my dad passed away. I haven't felt neither presence. And they came to me. I, I'm not. I'm not lying. I don't know if you guys will believe me or not, but they did. Both have came to me. And I want to share, but. I've experienced, I am a Christian, um, I w would love to really share a lot with you all, and um, another miracle that came to me was uh, my mom's with a broken hip, but she's now able to walk more normally, but not still the same, and um, her pain is slowly going away, she's on a uh, She's a um, diabetic with a, uh, uh, I forgot what it was called, but something to do with her liver right now, and um, so she's slowly dying, but um, that's just her flesh dying, as will all of our flesh will die. We're not really going to really die. It's our flesh that dies, but our spirit will always live on. We're still not, we're not truly dead. Neither is God. God is the living God. He's alive. He's alive now. So is Jesus. So is all of your families and friends out there and loved ones. They're still alive. And um, I just want to say, I love you guys. You guys are brethren to me and sisters. And, um very much I, um, I just want to let you guys know my experience and my rich not rich future my re revolution is to uh, change what more better I am still going to be who I am and I am showing more of who I am I am a Christian and I'm a follower of Jesus Christ and um I'm proud to admit it. I am a gamer and, and I talk about the same time. I do have a girlfriend named Monica. I have said it multiple times. And I am blessed with her. Who got in Jesus? I've been saying, or not saying, but asking for a long time. And I finally found someone who re respects me and loves me and loves me for who I am. And uh, she was the second main reason that I've gone gotten off methamphetamine was God and Jesus and her and um, so I'm happy to admit that I am in love with the most greatest beautiful girl on earth that God and Jesus have given on to me I went through so much with so many girls through RP and everything that um, I lost a lot of hope but God brought me back with Monica and with his love he has for all of us he loves us equally 
and um, I just want to let you guys know. So um, this video will be going up. I will probably be doing a live stream probably. So um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Love you.